Today we're unboxing Arena The Contest from Dragori Games. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Alright, now, this is a lot of stuff. This is going to be a long one, so buckle up. Alright, now, let's just get started because there's so much here. Um, if you see a glare on any of this stuff, I'm sorry, it'll get better once I get the plastic off. Just, I gotta make some room here. Let's just put this aside. It's pretty for an opener, less convenient for an unboxing. Let's save that for later. Okay, so let's start with the core box. All right, now you know the thing is about um, Arena the Contest is this, I was, I backed this game just based on it looked cool. I think I saw the video, uh, the Kickstarter video. I honestly, until recently, I couldn't remember what this game was about. I knew it was like an arena combat thing. I didn't know that there was like a dungeon crawl element you could do too. I, I didn't know because I just ordered because it looked cool. I mean, look at all the boxes. That was a phase in my life where I, I if it had a lot of boxes and a lot of minis and they looked cool, I would just, I just back it. I, I'll figure it out later. I'm sure I'll like it. Um, and the art looked awesome. Actually, that's a phase I'm still going through. Okay, let's, let's look in this box. Oh. Okay, all right, let us crack her open. No dilly or dallying, since there's gonna be a lot here to look at. And it looks awesome. Now, first thing I gotta mention, we'll get a good look at it once I rip off this plastic, is this artwork is amazeballs. The detail, the work that goes into this, clearly they're using models. Well, at least I, I assume that's what it looks like to me. If you're not using models for this, then bravo. Uh, but using models or not, when I say models, I mean like live live actor models like posing and then you paint over them, you, know, you put them in a pose and then you paint on top of it. That's my assumption because it looks so good. But if you're not, Bravo. I'm sure getting the model of the dragon was the hardest thing to do because the, they don't stay still uh, easily. So, okay. But just, just, let's just look at this. It's, the detailing artwork alone is amazing. And yeah, so what I learned about this game, I learned that recently, that it is a, uh, so it's a combat arena game. You get your teams and you know, they got their, I guess they're wizards, they're tanks, etc., and, uh, and you, you can go head to head. And I think you can also do a cooperative dungeon crawl where there's like enemy creatures and dragons that are controlled by the game's AI, which is based on some special cards, and that seems cool too. Now, when I bought this, uh, literally all I remembered, I thought I was buying an arena battle game. I uh, I wasn't paying much attention, but you know. I figured it out when it got here. And um, you know what? I'm happy that there's another cooperative adventure game because Brittany isn't too much into the combat arena game. So I usually play those with other people. But she is into the co-op dungeon crawling thing. Even though we don't do that much, she really likes it. Okay. So let's, let's just look inside. First, the ritual of the box lid lifting. Here we go. It's a tight one. Does someone come? There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you hear it? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's one of the best ones yet. That was really good. That's probably one of my favorite lidings or unlidings. Hey, right. let's look inside. Mmm, you can smell the new 
funny story. You can't see it. We'll see it close up. Now, if you're new to our unboxings, we're going to open up the box, take a gander roughly from high up, and then we're going to bring the camera down low and get a look at everything that's inside. Now, but interesting thing is, if you see this mini here, you can't really see it, but we'll see it better when we get up close. It's it's a, a, a wizard or a, a, a witch, whatever. It's a female wizard magic spell caster person. And, you know, she's got a stash holding the ball. Now, here's the thing. I believe that is her. Now, I don't know if you can see it better on that camera. Now, she is a fine-looking female spellcaster. Um, yeah, she's very, very attractive. But thing is, here's the thing. I got this card. Why is it out of the box? Because I got this as a promo, or a promo something. I, it was like a sample. They were giving it away at Gen Con. I walked by their booth, and I was like, hey, I'm waiting for my Kickstarter to come in. And they're like, yeah, yeah, here you go. Here's a card. Take this. I was like, oh, excellent. I don't know if it's a bonus. I don't know if there's a copy of her in here. But thing is, I got this, her, with this mini. Now, I'll show you up close, but this mini is a, a giant knight, like a paladin with a big hammer. He's a big, muscular man. He's not this spell-casting hottie thing. Anyways, person, wizard. I say thing because I don't, I don't know what her, her job title is. Or, uh... Creature type. Anyways, they don't match. That's what I was given. So, it's, it's nice as that was, it's just basically spare parts. So, let's continue. All right, what do we got? Ooh, we got a quick start guide. I did hear that this game was easy to learn, which is great. Ooh, and the quick start, start guide is, looks simple. Very nice. I like diagrams that explain things nice and cleanly. And we got, ooh, a quest guide, which I'm assuming is for our cooperative section. So we got some map layouts. We got, oh, it's all like, we're not gonna flip through our page. Just give you an idea. Oh, neat. So it just tells you how to lay out everything, your typical quest guide. Ooh, he looks cool. Scenario building book. Nice, there's a lot there. There is, how many pages to this quest guide? 39 pages. And it looks like every flip is a new quest. Nice. And the artwork is spectacular. Okay, what do we have here? A campaign tome? No. I thought the uh, dungeon crawling was just like one shots. I didn't know there was a campaign. Oh, there's like stories and stuff. And man, the work that goes into this, the artwork is just spectacular. I'm sure we'll see all this closer up. And I gotta say, all the people, very attractive. It's kind of like a, a medieval fantasy tinder. All the, they're all posed and all look, looking handsome. Well, you got this Morbius looking like guy here and a werewolf. Seem like it's the, the whole fantasy tinder thing doesn't go as well for the the people interested in males as, as much as the people interested in females. Um, unless, yeah. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Fantasy. Oh, no, there you go. There's a handsome gentleman. Look at him. He's like a, a kind of Thor slash Loki wizard. He looks pretty cool. All right, so what, what is this? I'm looking, oh, it's the rule book. And the rule book is for a game that it's got a a small little quick start guide. It's got a lot of pages to the rules. 39 to be exact. It's the same as the quest guide. Oh, I love that artwork. I don't want to spoil any too much of the artwork because I'm sure we'll see more cards in it. Nice. What is this? Arena Evolution. This game is a living thing. As such, to improve your experience, we will seek to correct mistakes, update rules, change quests. Check out arena.st slash FAQ for all of the above. You can already find these updates to the Blood Castle and Dragon Graveyard Quests instructions. Okay. 
It's a little playing card material with a little bit of thing. I gotta remember that to check that out. And, oh, this is our player board. Let's see how much we can see. Yeah. Okay. Gotta make some room. Gotta make some room. Hold on. Let's move this aside. Let's make some room for this bad boy. And it, it, there we go. There you go. There it is. There it is. Looks like it's these walls and lava are set in stone. Uh, anyways, um, I think this is a health track. No, point track. It's one track. It's one track for everyone. Is this a co-op map? I don't know if there's a difference. But anyways, there's a preset map on that side. And on the other side, we've got, if I remember the video correctly, these are so you can make custom maps. So it's just a blank slate with your number values on the side. Oh, it's got, I didn't realize they have like A24, like um, coordinates, see? I12 would be right there. Huh? Neat. So that's the board. Yep, more of those. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, got some, some lava tiles, stone tiles, ooh, traps. Seem pretty simple and straightforward. And this is a kind of a mess of textures right now. It looks like I'm looking at a wall, I think. Those are walls. Oh, those are walls of bones. You'll see those when I get up close. Okay. And I think these are, these look like portals. Like you would go in one and come out the other. I'm assuming purple to purple. Maybe not, maybe it's like Portal the video game where you go blue to purple. I don't know, but I'm assuming those are portals. We've got some doors, more lava, and more traps, and some runes. There's more of those bones. I'm assuming, a, I, I think a wall made out of human bones wouldn't be that sturdy of a wall. I mean, how heavy could it be? Just can't knock it over, right? Unless they're like glued together, some medieval crazy glue. Okay, so here are a bunch of tokens. We got a bunch of character faces in here. Again, we'll get in nice and close to see these. Oh, look at this. That's nice. That's a really nice... You know, all the artwork, the presentation, it's got a very clean, elegant presentation. Like, I really like, oh, nice. I don't know if the camera can do this justice, but it's it's embossed, but not just a random pattern. It's got the dragon embossed in it, and it's got a wizard. He's facing off with the dragon. That's really nice. And they've got their logo up here, which usually you just get the logo and some sort of symbol, but this is pretty intricate. That is really nice. I like that. And we got some cards. These look like your player cards, because it looks like that thing I was given. Uh, we have more cards here. Don't know what these are for, but we got more cards and more cards. A lot of text. Cards with a lot of text. So, and then we got a bunch of minis. Now, and there are colored rings. I'm gonna take a little peek under here. Okay, well, there's more cards. Give you a little sneak peek more cards under there and more minis so we'll get in close to see what we can see what was there there's a stack of cards there then somebody put something away no hmm. Interesting. That's just like that. all right hold on is this what goes in here interesting it looks like that holds something there's gotta be something wrapped up that goes in there. Also, this insert has all these little embossed little details. Look like crests. Really nice. And this big guy here, he's gonna be fun to look at. All right, well, let's get in close and see what we can see. All right, we got the camera close. Let's take the Let me see if I can see if you can see these. Do you see that? You're gonna get a lot of reflection from the lights in the studio, but if you can see that. The dragon and the wizard facing off. That's super cool. 
That's one of the nicest embossed holders that I've had the pleasure of handling. All right, let's start off with the less exciting tiles and work our way up to the cool stuff, like the minis and the awesome artwork in the cards. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at this tile sheet. I don't know what that is. Special ready. Oh, does everybody get one of those? These things here. And then these are trackers of some sort. It looks like each, I don't know if those represent teams, because it's like the same character with the different colors. Just give it a quick pass. Again, the characters look great. I'm getting a uh, kind of like a samurai meets Jack Sparrow vibe from that guy. There's Morbius. And the guy from Twilight, right there. What do we got here? Ooh, got some dragons. I'm assuming those are the same uh, images on the cards. There's the lava. No, was, oh, oh, that was longer than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so it's got a grid on it. You can see it's a decent, a decent thickness of cardboard. Pretty standard, I think. Standard fare nowadays. Let's see what's on the other side of that. So you see some of them are reversible, so the lava is spikes on the other side. And I think these are all the same. Except these are not colored, no special, and then special ready. You can see it's colored. Okay, I think. Okay, we've seen all those. Now let's put this put this back. There you go. And now we see our what I think are portals. Oh, here. This is the the wall of human remains. Check it out. They are actually nice, very detailed. But honestly, I think I could charge through that. Unless there's like spikes in there. That'd be bad. Got some rooms. The doors. I like the perspective on the doors. I say these don't look as impressive in the, the punch board thing because they're all just kind of like a mess of textures. But I'm sure it'll suit their texture. It's kind of hard to make out without going on there. I think it's just ground texture. I think. I don't know. I like that side better. These look like they were 3D modeled and lit and then painted or something. That's what it looks like. The spikes don't. Spikes look a little more just hand painted. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but that's just my guess. All right, let's see what else we get. Okay, uh, are these the same as the other ones? No, <laughs> it's because I've already seen them. I'm going the wrong order. Hold on. Ah, so we got here that lots of walls of bones. Lots. Yeah, close up a one. And on the other side we have this, which is kind of a dizzying texture to look at actually. It kind of looks like a, a shirt your non-hip dad would wear. Would have a texture like this. Okay, looks cool. Looks nice though. Like looks like a decent wall. I don't think we'll be using those because I believe one of these boxes has actual 3D walls. Definitely using those over the 2D walls. Duh. Oh, that's a, a stair. There's a stairs leading to a hole. That's actually a nice perspective on that. I like that. Okay, we've seen the lava, we've seen the floors, and we got, ooh, double doors. And on the other side, we have more spikes, more double doors, some levers or levers, however you prefer. That was it. Okay, that's it for the punch outs. Some of the cards. Oh, yeah. Get this out of here. Oh, we stuck the tape. There you go. I think he was here. Yeah, okay. So let's see what we got here. I'll just keep them here. Bring them out for you. Ooh. So on these cards, looks like we've got abilities. Yeah, Mighty Blow, Berserker Strike. Primary attacks and special attacks. Barbaric Rage and Whirlwind. Nice. And they've got their stats, hit points, base attack, defense, movement. 
brutality. Is that like a special ability? It says like trigger. Hit a target that isn't adjacent to any of your allies on your first hit of your turn. On the first hit of your turn. On your first hit of your turn. Sorry, struggling here. Effects. Target takes four damage. Nice. I'm not gonna read all those, I just wanted to read one to give you an idea. Okay, so we got here a werewolf. Just show you the art. What's on the other side? Oh. Look at that. That's nice. You know what I'll do? Just get a good look at that. Cool. I'll show you the one side and then flip them over. I like love the artwork on this. It's getting so clean. See? what I tell you? Well, he's like a thief. He's got like a jewel. This is, I'm telling you, this is, um, this is medieval fantasy adventure Tinder. If there was Tinder in the richer world, the witcher world, this would be it. See? Tell me he doesn't look like Jack Sparrow Samurai. So does. Although he's got a or Jack Sparrow, Sparrow meets, oh, what was that? Is that Animushu? Animusha? Animushu. The video game, the PS, the PlayStation. PlayStation 2? Can't remember. We had to so kill people and suck up their souls. Oh. She's got great hair for someone that's out there adventuring. And some nice. She's done up. That's some classy armor. I got a warrior here. Yeah. Nice. Typical, like, was he like a dwarf? Uh, was he like a dwarf? I don't know. Maybe not, not dwarf. What are they called? Dwarves. Yeah, they're dwarves, right? I don't know if he is. Maybe human. I can't tell. I can't tell how tall he is. And then we got your healer. Yep. Also very pretty. Now, speaking of pretty, look at her. So she's not out to go fight anything. She's a healer. But she is dressed to hit the town. Artwork is getting sexy up in here. She's angry. I mean, look, that's a flat stomach. I guess for an elf, you're running around the woods all day. It's a great workout. Look at him. Wizard. Yeah, you see, it's the men are pretty too. Not all of them. Like the werewolf and the vampire, we necessarily say they're pretty. Maybe if you're a vampire, if you're into that thing. I don't know. But uh, look at him. Strong looking gentleman. And there she is. So that let me get that card I got seems kind of kind of a little useless since I'm ready. I'm ready at getting it. Don't really get the point of giving this away to people who's already getting the game. But uh, one thing I like to note is that this is like a smooth stock, and this has got that nice textured stock, which I prefer over this. And let's see what she looks like on this side. Oh, we've already seen her from the other card. Very nice. And we got a controller, eh? The Fallen Angel. Oh, she got wings. I was about to say, where's her wings? She's got them. Very nice. Oh. We got a red dragon. He's a boss. He's got a lot going on. He's got a turn sequence. He's got all the special abilities. And on this side, we have some more amazing artwork. What's it say down there? In the end, everyone returns to dust or ashes if you find Azamore. No? Well, let's hope we don't find him. Because that sounds like trouble. Oh, we got more dragons. There's a lot of dragons in here. We got a blue dragon. We got all the primary color dragons, apparently. Hmm. Looks... He's kind of got a vulture look to him. And he's got antlers. 
It's an interesting look for a dragon. And we got a black dragon. Looks more like a purple dragon if you ask me, but who am I? I'm no dragon expert. Oh yeah, he looks badass. I like him. Right here. Ooh, for white dragon. He's gotta be frosty, right? Like a frost frosty like dragon. So does he blow like or breathe like ice? Or is it still fire? Hmm. Okay. Here we got this guy. We got the undead dragon. Ooh, like a zombie dragon. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, he's like a zombie dragon. Oh, he looks awesome. Look at him. Gross and awesome. He's so much worse than just a dragon with flesh on. Maybe he's easier to kill. I don't know. Or if he's undead, maybe he's very difficult to kill. I don't know. What was that? The Diablo. He's a boss. Like the devil? Oh yeah, look at him. The guy is jacked. Look at his arms. He is not, well I guess he has to be. Look at, his, look at the thing he's carrying. Nice, and that head though. It's gotta be tough getting in through doors. Like he must have, in training, he must have got this hammer thing hooked on those like all the time. That must have been so annoying. He's got little, he must be huge. Look, he's got little skeletons in his shoulders. Like, how big is this guy? Those are like, those look like full grown, like people. He's a big guy. Oh, we got the gold dragon. What's the name of the, it's like the, oh, Dragonheart, right? This is the Sean Connery of dragons. Look at him. Yeah. Definitely Sean. Definitely. We have another dragon avatar. He looks like a dragon human, dragon angel thing, demon. Nice illustrated, but not really my type of demon angel. What do we have here? Oh, it's just like a reference card? Getting close to that, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. A reference for your tiles and a reference for conditions. Guess bad ones are in red and good conditions are in blue. Yep, like weakened and empowered. That makes sense. And we have two of those, and I'm assuming these are the same. Yes. Nice. Enjoy the artwork on this in this set. Okay, let's get into this little pack here. Okay, let's Okay, so we got, holy crap, load of text. I don't know what this is. Are these stories? What is this? Well, it says, like, go to page 40 of the tome. So I'm not gonna, so let's not dwell on these too much because there might be spoilers in here. Or not, like, look, I'm, there's a lot in here. Just just don't read it. You don't have to. What? Necromancer's Re Requiem. Oh, I like that artwork, though. There's more artwork on the side. We'll take a look at those more. Take a little glance at these. Text heavy, stopping whenever I see anything that looks like a photo. Not a photo or an image. Oh, look at QR codes. What are those for? Is this something you should be scanning? Don't scan it. Don't scan my QR codes. I'm not sure what they're for. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Let's look at the other side. Sorry, I gotta know what those QR codes are for. What does it say? No, let's say it. Uh, any questions on this card? Uh, any questions on this card may or may not be asked after you receive Isaac answer to question B. How did we summon you? How can one summon a dragon if the time token allows? If you do ask any of the questions below, add this card to your inventory. It will represent your memory of the event. Interesting. Not sure how that works, out of context. Of, okay, gotta play the game to see, I guess. But let's take a look at some of the artwork on the other side of the cards. Hey, right. are these a numbered order? They might be. I'm just gonna keep them that way. Oh, we've seen him before. Oh, QR codes, more text, more text. There's pictures on there. Just looking for photos. Also, oh, they're just like 
uh, cleaner versions, well, less stuff on it. No, actually, I think uh, the other cards, I guess, just have a logo on it. That's okay. Ooh, what is that? I like the environment art. It's like some haunted temple. Oh, it's a ghost mine. It's a name, got a name right there. One you was haunted. Okay, we know the other side, there's nothing on there. Oh, it's like a goat, a lion, and a dragon head. I have to figure out a way to put these down. I don't know if they're in order for a certain reason, but they got big numbers on them. I'm sure I can figure it out. Ooh, that's a pretty building. That looks like right out of Lord of the Rings. What is this? Iron Hand Fortress. Nice. More QR codes. Okay, and we've seen that one. We didn't see it close. We, did, we saw it in a smaller version. But that is Zombie City. That could be a movie title. Is it a movie title? Yeah. Some burnt documents. Ooh. Mysterious. Okay, see so what else we get. These cards are like all over the place. There's all kinds of different things on here. I can't wait to find out what they're actually for. Oh, look at that guy. What is he? Oh, he's part of Zombie City as well. He's just some big old strong zombie. I got that. S Crystal Tower. It's a nice, nice piece of property there. Oh, what do we got? Is this our dragon graveyard? I wonder if that's where our zombie dragon came from. Hmm. That's nice. The Imperial Palace. Oh, look, there's tigers playing in the fountain up front. There's the deterrent for thieves, eh? Gotta put tigers in my fountain. Let's get a fountain. Next. First list, fountain. Next, tigers. Cursed swamp. Alright. I like those. I'm really enjoying the artwork on these. Let's see what else we got here. I've said this before in other episodes, but I need to sharpen this knife. It's covered in tape goo from all the unboxings I've done with it. It's like covered in tape glue, I guess would be more accurate than tape goo. Okay, what do we got here? So we got our, okay, we got more very text heavy cards. I'm not going to just glance through these here. See, we got more QR codes. We got that a guy just walking around on a dragon. I don't know if he's oh, it's a girl, she looks like a girl's warrior. But I hope that dragon is dead or a friend. Oh, we have a flask. I don't know what about that card says flask. Well, he is holding a flask in his hand. I guess you could call that like a wagon wheel. Okay, it says a bunch of those. Oh, yeah, there's the girl on top of the dragon. Heroic action. Wow, she slayed a dragon by herself. Oh, looks like she slit his throat. Good on you. Or not, like, I mean, killing dragons just seems wrong. Ooh, I like that. I like the artwork on her. The artwork's just gorgeous on these, on this game. Well done, artist. I'm sure you're credited on the box somewhere. Good job. Oh, he's got... He's a gladiator. He's got like two in the back. So it's plus 10 hit points. I don't know about plus 10. Imagine how much it would be if he didn't have those arrows in his back. As looks like, what's his face that plays Magneto? What's his name? I forget. The old Magneto, not the young Magneto. Ooh, nice shield. Oh, there's our girl again. Very pretty. Whoa, what is her leg doing? Oh, she's just, uh, she's taking out Johnny Depp. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go well for him. And she's doing this all in heels. Oh, it's talent. Ah, 
I like this girl. Something about her. She just looks evil. Not the one on the floor. The one that's doing the evil. Heroic, heroic absorption. I don't know about heroic. I can't even say it. Heroic. Heroic. Gotta work on that. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, that's the guy with the big horn. Oh, it's, it's, he must come from the same race. I don't think it's the same guy. But he looks like he's from Diablo 3. And he looks like he's from Doom. Hmm. Oh, that's romantic. Oh, hello, miss. Yep, definitely medieval tinder. She is a very attractive wizard. Or witch, or spellcaster. It's gonna spellcaster. I don't know what they're called in this world. I like these little bottles. It's got a bunch of... Oh yeah, sorry, there's the... The deets. I was getting close into the pictures. But I guess it's 4K, so you can probably get pretty close already. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, they're chilling out for a bit. Oh, something bad happened. Look at that. They've lost somebody. These guys don't seem as close. Oh, she does. He or she looks a little choked up up there. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's lava? Okay, maybe not the best vacation spot, but safe. How do you break into this thing? This is what you need dragons for. The lava citadel. How did you build that? Did you build it first and then the lava came? Did you build it in the middle of the lava? Anyways, great, some great engineering, either way. That's spooky. Ooh, this Dracula lives here. Is that, is that Hogwarts? Blood Castle. Oh, it is Dracula. It is Dracula's place. Okay. That was all those cards in that box. Nope. At least in the first. I think there's more cards in the bottom layer. Let's look at some minis. We'll save the dragon for last. Oh, there you go. And if you notice my fingers, I'm sorry. I've been uh, messing around with some harsh glue and... Uh, yeah, it's kind of really did a number on me. Should be healing up very soon. So forgive me. Okay, so I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of yellow for minis just because they don't really come up very well. They don't show up very well on camera. But I think this is that pretty thief, the guy that had the gem in his hand. What else we have here? Oh, yeah, there's the girl with the nice hair. And the kick ass armor. Okay, the, some uh, nice details in these minis. Not the best I've seen, but very nice. Guys like this with big chunky parts kind of show a little better. But I like minis anyway. Is that supposed to be part of a shoe? Yeah, it's on both ends. It's on both shoes. Okay. What else we got here? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, there's uh, Jack Sparrow meets Animushu. Which I believe is what the samurai name was. Box is deep, it's hard to see. Oh, there's our elf. Oh, I like that pose, very dynamic. Yeah, although, I'm not getting the sense that her flat stomach that she worked so hard to, to get is showing in this mini. But it's a good, good pose. It's got a lot of strength in it. Oh, there's our uh, Thor meets Loki spellcaster. Is 
He's a handsome, handsome gentleman. I like that. I like him. So far, I like the blue ones the best. I don't know if it's the color or the poses. Oh, we got a werewolf. Yep, yeah, he's in great shape as a werewolf. I wonder why his tail is was molded by his leg. There must be a reason. Like it would broke off or something, or maybe more difficult to sculpt. You can't see where this goes. Here. Oops, it's getting close. Oh, we got a very action-y, oh, very angry warrior. He's going in for the kill. He is jacked. That's why he doesn't wear a shirt. I wouldn't wear a shirt either if I look like that. Mm. Green almost glows. Interesting. It's a very simple model. Not a whole lot of detail to that one. Oh, is that's the um, that's uh, my uh, prom date. The one in the pretty dress. The one's going out. I remember a snake. She got this whole kind of like Eve thing going on with the, the serpent. Who are you? Oh, he was the uh, the pretty boy wizard. Just everybody's so pretty. Yeah, see, certain colors. This purple, the detail comes up pretty good. So you can see all the details in, you know, like, like her corset and her necklace or neckline, whatever the hell it is. Even in her staff, you can see the little skull right there. And that's the girl I should have got my, with my card, not the guy with the hammer. Who I haven't seen yet, by the way. Ooh, there's the angel. Cool. I like that they modeled her wings up. This game looks like so much fun. Um, fun thing is, Brittany didn't even really know this game was in the house. Uh, if you follow our Instagram, you'll see that uh, I recently did a huge organization here, had to go through a bunch of brown boxes that we had stored, and this was one of the games in the brown boxes. So it's like I, I kind of found it, not that I ever went missing, it's just I had so many things in brown boxes I kind of lost track. There's a picture on our Instagram account, if you go take a look, you'll see just a bunch of games stacked on this table. It was recent, so it should be about four or five pictures ago. Ooh, there's more cards in here, look at this. More stuff. And well, this uh, insert is smooth. The other one, I can see, it's smooth, but it has, check it out, the other insert has this, little details in them. They didn't go that way. See, there's all these extra slots. Things here and things here, so I'm assuming the expansions have stuff that go in there. All right, let's go check out some more cards. If these are like the other ones, we'll go, it's a big pile, but we'll go through it quick, because it'll probably be mostly text. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we've seen that, the level up art. Okay, so that's all the same. Man, that was quick. Oh, we got the fade art. Let's see, that's the whole card. Oh, it's getting close. So you see, see this is the kind of thing, it looks like there was a model who posed for this picture and they just painted on top of her. Which is fine. Um, some of my favorite artists do just that. It's a nice technique. It helps you get proportions correctly. Are correct. Ooh, he looks cool. 
but it kind of limits you when you're doing things like like you know more dynamic poses i mean you could still like trace a person and just color them up and bulk them up but you know whatever i'm just rambling sorry it's, it's, the artist in me is coming out okay so or the art critic in me you mean Ooh, I like him he's my favorite of the badasses he's the guy with the hammer he like currently doesn't currently have his hammer but i don't think he needs it i like him Who do we have here? Evil power, eh? Close. Oh, she's neat. Okay, that looks cool. That was the bag of those. Let's see. Let me break these up so I can hold them easier. Tiny hands. Oh, right. That looks great. That's, I like the coloring on that. I'll look through. I'll go through these a little quick so you can uh, stop and see the art if you want. I'll just zoom in on some of them. Is that a fight I'd want to be in? So. What? Well, it's the same. It's the same dragon. The same photo. Except one's a. Well, it's a different dragon, but you know what I mean. It's the same art. So, yeah, if you want to read these cards or. I don't see another one. Same thing with purple. There's some. That art reuse makes sense. You can't expect them to put out artwork with this much detail for every card. Feel free to stop it and read what you will. Looks like you just finished a cigarette. You're just smoking. He's the oh he's or he's the second life life channel. Hmm. Okay, that's one pile. Ooh. Sentinel, look at him. He looks like he's right out of Mortal Kombat. Like Sub Zero or Scorpion, or something. Like some. Oh, and there's different versions of him, just like the dragon. Ooh, soldier. Hey, that looks like the mini I have. This guy. This is the mini that I was giving. Yeah, it is him. I wonder if I get one of him in the box. So we got different colored versions of him. Oh, sniper. He looks neat. That's a crazy mask. Ooh, he looks like something right out of World of Warcraft. They're really cool. Nice. Amazing environmental artwork. Amazing artwork in general. We got here. We got more. What a card! It's more cards in this box than I thought there would be. But that's okay. I like cards. It just needs more gameplay. Okay, let's check out some of these. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I want that treasure. That looks like a good find. Artifact. So these are artifact cards. We got our dragon avatar. We've seen him before. Oh, there's Sean Connery from Dragonheart. Oh, there's our badass Diablo. Our undead dragon. White dragon. So these are cards for all our dragons. We've seen all this artwork before. Let's see what's on the other side. Quick scan of these. I don't think we need to go through all these because they're all a lot of details. I'm kind of skimming through. I'm just looking for. Hmm. Okay. I don't think we need to look at all these. Oh, what's that? Oh, we're getting to the artifact cards, right? Yeah. Check out some of the artifacts. 
I like item cards in games. It gets me excited to get the items. I feel like it's like it's an actual item I got on when I while I was out on an adventure. Cool. Okay. So that's that pack, and then we got whatever this is. Now I think I heard somewhere that this game is coming back out on Kickstarter. I might have even shared that information. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I heard that right. That would be soon. If I remember correctly, it was the date February 4th. I think it was this. Gotta check again. That might be misinformation, so just look it up. Google it. You'll find out. For sure. Alright, some images we've seen before. We'll just skip the ones we've seen. Probably all of them. Yep, we've seen all those. But we get some more artifacts, which I enjoy. Ooh, I like the Belt of Shadows. I wonder where you wear that with. These. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Earthquake. Who's she? She's got a pet dragon lizard with multiple eyeballs. On one side of his head, I mean. We've all got multiple eyeballs. Oh, we've got a phoenix situation going on here. It's like the Harry Potter thing that happened. Oh, what's this? Cool, she's calling an angel. You've seen that? All right. Do I think the artwork repeats itself? So... We're not going to stop at all these cards. Just keep, ooh, I've seen that before. I really like that one. It always gets my attention. Oh, she's new. Oh, I like that. She looks so evil. She looks like a Disney villain. Okay. And now, one more pack of cards. And we get back to more minis. And then... More boxes. See what I mean? I gotta sharpen this. Can't break plastic. Oh. Alright. Alright, again. Artwork we've seen. So let us just skim by those. I really like that one. Not for the perverted reasons you're thinking. I just like the artwork. I like this girl too. Just, she's got really nice hair. It's kind of like Aquaman slash Morbius. Okay, what do we got here? A bunch of ability cards for these characters. I like the little detail of having the pictures there. The more that ties the cards back to the characters, just really helps, makes you feel more comfortable with the game. So you're not like, where does this belong? Who does this belong to? There's no, there's no question. It's nice and, nice and simple. Okay, so that is it for cards. Now let's check out the minis. Oh, there he is. See, now I've got two. What am I going to do with two? I don't know. But yo, you know what I can do with two? You can see both back and front at the same time. And they can shake hands. do si do All right, sorry, I guess I'll stop. Put that away. No, he's actually one of my, I think he's one of the better miniatures. Nice detail on him. Oh, well, there's a few of those guys in here. There's like one, two, three of those hammer guys. Oh, these are like repeated. These must be more like minions. Whoa, I just, just hit the camera. My bad. But yeah, look. They look, I look. 
looks cool. So there's one, two, same one. Yep, same one. Three, four. There's four of those rogue looking like guys. And then there's a few of these archers. Oh, he's got the cool mask. He's got two quivers on his back. Then either of those look like they hold a lot. I wonder if a better option would have been just to have one big one to hold more bolts. And that's it. So there's three, oh, as far as many as there's three, you can't really see it until this. See? There's three of those guys. And then oh, we have this guy. Who's this? Oh, that's the guy with the, the rip devil guy with the cool hammer. Mind you, his horns don't look nearly as cool as they do on the card. It's much cooler in the card. Because those look like regular like horns on a helmet. I'm assuming this is the same guy. Maybe it's not. Maybe they just have similar weapons. Actually, that weapon looks a little different. Okay, I'll take it back. That might not be the same guy. This guy looks cool. And then, last but not least, look at this. First, sit on the table. Look at that. Give him a spin. He looks really neat. I love big miniatures. And yes, they're still miniatures, because this is much smaller than a real dragon. Just enjoying the detail on this guy. I like the um, the ribs on the chest. Gives him a nice texture. This guy, I'd, li I'd love to see a version of this guy painted. He's got some nasty teeth. He needs to go to the dentist, but he looks really cool. I doubt anybody's going to say anything. Okay, great. I like the... Wah! It's heavy. Great detail in the muscles, in the arms and legs. And you can see the, the skeleton of the uh, wings. That's nice. He looks really cool. Nice, cool looking dragon. All right, now let's see, put him in correctly. Take a little peek here, make sure there's nothing. I put him in there right? Make sure there's nothing under the glass. There is something under the box. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. There absolutely is more under the box. What the hell? And it's got so many empty spots. Look at this. More spots for cards. More spots for things. I am blown away. There's dice in here. There's the dragon. I had no idea this was in here. Look at that. It's the tray that keeps on giving. I almost didn't lift that up. That's crazy. What's in here? I've seen these. I've seen there's a token for this thing. That's cool. Let's see. What else we got here? Okay, there's one for every color. Or maybe not. There's a there's at least a blue and red one. So there's not one for every color. I lied. Blue and red one. But there is like this is that a prisoner? Like a slave. Oh. Rain slaves. I'm assuming they're easy to get captured since they glow in the dark. Let's see, let's just pull a bunch of these out. Because so, they're really in there. This is a deep box. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull a bunch of this stuff out. All right, okay, so, ah, I like that. I like the little treasure chest. I might use these in Gloomhaven. Those look cool. Oh, I love those. I like little furniture, right? Little furniture's awesome. And here's more of the slaves in different colors, or prisoners, whatever they are. Like I said, the yellow doesn't really stand out as much as the purple, as far as detail goes. But yeah, I love that thing. 
ever since, you know, Hero Quest as a kid. A little furniture. Can't get enough of it. I, I, I am so shocked that those were there. Like, I, 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 I would have, I wouldn't have guessed. I thought that was the bottom. I thought that was it. All right, and we got two die. Two D20s, I believe. Nice. You know what we gotta do? We gotta test to see if these bad boys work. Come on. Yeah. They work. They work. Excellent. Oh, a 19 and a 20. Not a bad roll. Not bad. Okay, let's put those away. I like how there's little holders for those. That's so cool. Is there anything under that? I gotta say, I, I will fall out of this chair if there's a, something else underneath this tree. Hey. There. There isn't. That, wow, that was, that was a nice, nice little surprise. So, let's put this away. Ah, there you go. Ah, let's move this aside. Um... Yeah, let's put you over there for now. While I got you here, while we're nice and we've got the close cam, let's uh, skip ahead to some of these and then we'll do the other boxes. Let's see, I got this guy came separate. So I don't exactly remember what I ordered in Kickstarter, but uh, soon I'd get the all-in package. And uh, if there's add-ons, I picked up a thing or two. I'm usually an all-in type of guy. I'm not sure if there's a Kickstarter. Well, Rising Sun, I didn't go all-in, but that was early to Kickstarter then. I didn't really know what I was doing. Ooh, he looks really cool. All right, that's, so we got a little bonus character here. Let's put him up out of here. Ooh, I like him already. I think I want to play with this guy. Well, does he have... Looks like he has a beard here. It does. Looks like he has a mustache or a beard. But he clearly doesn't have one here. Or he does. It's like a subtle one. Hmm. Can you tell him the back picture? I need to know. I need to know his facial hair situation. Maybe. But it'd be the same color as his hair, so it'd be hard to tell. Creepy little shoulder pads. And what looks like a pumpkin for a belt. I'm sure it's not a pumpkin. Like it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Like, see, it looks like it's got a little face on it. That's what it looks like. And this definitely is not a jack-o'-lantern. So well, we can't see that's a scratch. It's just I think it's rubbed a scratch. It's okay. It's alright. And now we got. I don't know what these cards are for, but I'm sure they're awesome. Literally, they're his cards. Okay, it was a shapeshifter. There you go. Figure that out later. Take some room, put it over there, and let's see what else we got over here. It's a little baggy. I like custom bags with custom logos. I like it. Here, a company out there looking, wondering, should we get our logo printed on our bag? Yes, do that. It's it's cool. It's a nice little uh, felt bag or velvet or whatever the material is. Oh, it's a dice bag. Dice in there. I didn't know what we were gonna get in there. Look at that. Ooh. Look at all the colors! Is that per, like for the different classes? Because I think every class is like a different color. I don't know, but that's cool. Alright. They're all like just... We gotta test them all. Let's test them all. Make room. Make room. I'm gonna test them all at once. I'm gonna take them out of the bag. Oh, I like... I've never held so many like D20s. or These aren't all D20s. What are, are they? I, don't, I can't tell. But 
I don't hold, hold so, much, so many dice like this. Same time. Ooh, pretty. I like them. Okay. Oh, I feel so good. All right, all right. Oh, no, that one's got away. Okay, let's test them. They work! Every one of them. What are the odds? Every one of them works. That's great. Okay, let's put these in the... You just toss these in here. And let's put them back in the little plastic bag. You just... for now. Ooh, and this, not that exciting, is just a pack of card sleeves. That's all we got there. And um, everything else we need to get, you know what, I could probably do this one while we're down close. This box here. Let's crack it. Let's see what's in here. I think that's the last small one. I'm going we'll to bring the camera back up. see what's inside. I don't know what spoilers we want to see. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Oh, that boat is screwed. They go fishing? Oh, uh, that's worse than the perfect storm. They are in bad shape. Yeah, that would be... Could you imagine just going out for a nice sail and coming across this? Like, odds of you going home are slim. Odds of you going home are slim. All right, let's, let's crack her open and see what's in here. Again, great artwork. Ready? Bum, bum, bum. Ooh. Dragon. Oh, it's like a Hydra. Which I should have guessed that from the box. For... No. They're all coming out. They're all coming out. The way the, the insert is laid out. There you go. That's what's inside there. Again with the yellow. Not a fan of yellow for miniatures. But I get it. I'm sure there's a reason for the colors. And it's probably a limited amount of colors you could choose. I'm never crazy about yellow. As a, like a wooden meeple? Yellow's great. But I can't get these out of here. These are... Uh, how did they get them in here? Maybe pushing them in is easier than... There we go, popping them out. Let's just pop these all out, because they are never going back in here again. There you go, and... Big guy's easy. Big guy's easy. We'll just toss it in there, but they're not... They are not going to be set back in those holes. Okay, let's look at these guys. Ooh. Like some badass angel. Nice. And then here we have. Oh, hey, that looks more like the guy who's with the horns. Oh no, that's that's the other guy. The guy I said looked like he's from Doom, because he didn't have the armor and he's got a big sword. The detail on these guys just look softer than some other uh, minis. But the big guys look pretty solid. It's just when you get small. Oh, he's, let's just look him down. Just put him down so you can see. It's distracting. Look at that. He looks really badass from the back. Give him a little spin. Very nice. I like this Hydra. I want to fight a Hydra. But I can't swim, so I don't want to really fight him on the water. If he could come to me, that would be better. Oh, he looks cool. This is my, I think this might be my first uh, Hydra Mini. I like that it's only half his body, you see, because he's, I guess he's supposed to be under, like, his body's supposed to be underwater, you notice? So. If this table was blue, that'd make more sense. But he looks really cool. Love the details on these guys. Nice. The heads are all over the place. I think that guy's the leader. He's right in the middle. And this guy has like a grumpy old man expression on his face. It's hard to turn these guys so you can see the most. Because I want you to guys see all the detail. But some heads get close to the camera and then they get blurry. Okay, 
Nice. All right, well, that was in that little box. It's a nice little. Is that a Kickstarter exclusive? I don't know. Um, let's toss it over there. Yeah, just put it over there. Now, no, I like to keep these things on the table. Okay, I think that's it. Let's take her up. All right. Got myself some nice warm coffee because I'm gonna give you a little, a little secret, a little behind the set or behind the scenes secret. Let's try that again. Let me give you a little behind the scenes secret. When we're recording in the studio, we actually turn off the furnace because the mic picks up the furnace when it turns on. That is a pain in the ass in the editing room. So we just turn it off. And we're in the middle of winter, so it's, it's, uh, what's the word? It's cold. <laughs> it's freaking cold. Okay. All right. Now we are opening, what is this? The Hero in Dungeons expansion box. This goes into, falls into that category of what I mentioned before. Small furniture, except this is tiny doors and, and walls. Look at that. That's great. Little tiny, I just, all games should have little tiny furniture. They just, it just should. Is that going to raise the cost? Yes. Like, does it make sense for everything? No. Do I want it? Yeah, I do. I want a lot of things that don't make sense. Most of us are living way past the fact of need. That whole statement of like, you don't need that. We don't need half of the things we have. We are very lucky to be living the lives we are. Not all of us, mind you, but a lot of us, especially the majority of us in North America, are living in the land of want. Okay, first of all, once again, awesome artwork. Very simple, but awesome. That is the girl that was uh, kind of like screwing over Johnny Depp, she had her legs over around right his neck, she was gonna stab him in the eye with her little dagger. That's her. So, don't mess with her, and let's open the box. Okay. Oh, it's another good lid. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, I just love that feeling. All right, let's move this out of the way. Let's take a peek inside. Oh yeah, we got more of that pretty embossed plastic. Very nice, very nice. We've seen that. We got more cards, or more, sorry, more tokens. And more character sheets. And more pretty people with superpowers. And more more cards. We'll take a look at those. And more miniatures. What's in there? Oh, oh, furniture's uh, furniture's everywhere. It's, it's chaos. Things are they did not stay sorted. I don't think that wall's supposed to be there. Everything's kind of everywhere. Or maybe it is. Interesting. Look at this insert. They actually use the perimeter of the box to hold things in place. And the doors, where do the doors go? I don't know. I'm not sure how this goes, but the levers are supposed to go in there. Everything fell out. Okay, so, nice insert. Maybe not the best for keeping things in its place, so I'm gonna have to be careful on how I store this. Ideally, you wanna store it flat. Because I don't really know how those doors fit in there, because they don't fit that way. So, I'm not sure what's happening. Oops. Just leave them like that. Okay. And I gotta check, because it's fooled me before. Is there anything in the bottom? I don't even know how to lift this. I don't think so, it looks pretty flat. But is there anything, any tiny things hidden in there? Hold on. Nope, it's not. These are, these are heavy. I gotta say, this is, they're hollow, but this is heavy pieces of plastic. Like, you threw this at someone yeah it hurt you could like lose an eye you could definitely bruise somebody with this it's some good quality plastic 
All right, well, let's, let's get in close and take a look at all of that. <sighs> some, some good coffee. You got any Nespresso drinkers out there? Nespresso, if you're watching, we will gladly sponsor, or you could, you could spot, we will accept your sponsorship. Yeah, that. Spread the word. If anybody works at Espresso, tell them Boardium Coffee, looking for sponsors, and Espresso would be perfect. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. Hey, we can see all these guys on one shot. Very nice. On the other side, we have the exact same thing. The Luke Cage. I got a feeling that a lot of these pictures were pulled off of, like, the internet. Cause like I swear it's like you see some faces you're like I've seen that guy before. All right. Let's give you a good look. Okay. That's it for that. Let's look at the cards. And I'm assuming these will be like the other ones where there'll be a lot of the similar pictures and some deets that will fly through but some amazing artwork is pretty much guaranteed. Cool, I really like that artwork. Mm. They'd be a cute couple, look at that. I think this Tinder thing could, if they just both swipe right on each other, then we can make this happen. They make beautiful magic babies. She's a telepath, he's an illusionist. This would be great. Oh, hey. There is my ice sorceress from the other one. She's my favorite. Ah, Luke Cage. Yes. Looks good. No, oh, I like the purple hair. A uh, loot. She's she's a bard. Oh shit! Sorry, she was a bard. Oh, this guy looks badass. But he looks a little arrogant. I don't, you know. I I like the the. He looks like. I think this guy might have a better chance than him. I think he's too. This guy's too full of himself. And that guy's just you know no face. He's, he's never very. It's just scary. Oh, there you go. Sorry. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Look who's coming in. It's like Fabio the Paladin. And what does she have on her head? Is she a pirate? Is that a pirate hat? Oh, it's a pirate hat. That's not how I saw it for... Oh, there's people hung in the back. I don't think she's a good pirate. Like, I think she's a mean pirate. Which might make her a good pirate. Hey, there she is. The stabby girl. Assassin. And the Anne Rice vampire Lestat. And he looks cool. Oh, I like him. I like the Minotaur. Okay, how does this... Let's go. I got all these cards mixed up. And let's put these over here. It's just so cold down here. Now let's open up this. Oh, we did in a more detailed shot of the artwork of these characters. Okay, let's uh, do the same thing we did last time. Oh, no, I'm digging this Minotaur. So he's, he's one of my favorite pieces of artwork. I really like him. Look at the detail on him. The hair, the horns, the wrinkles in the skin, it's all really cool. Let's put it there. And what do we got here? The inner vampire. He definitely looks like a drama queen. Yep. All vampires are. She looks pretty cool.
and also if you know when they are models like you can it just helps with the perspective and everything you can get some cool um, some really cool angles and shots that makes it easier than trying to figure it out yourself use the real world as reference Yeah, I like this guy. I like his sword. This guy looks tough. I don't know if I like his attitude. She looks like a gentle soul. Is he, what is he, a fire starter? What's his class? He's a sorcerer. Fire sorcerer. And there's Juliet, our ice sorcerer. Sorceress? Sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Swipe right. Just kidding. Kinda. I'm married. I'm taken. See? Nice. Oops. It's upside down. I really like this guy's photo. Or photo. Painting. Image. Hey, that was a lot of great artwork. Great, great artwork. Okay. Let's... Look at some minis. Oh, is there actually a foot? Yeah. I forgot what the bottom what was in the bottom of that. Let's take a look at some minis. Oh, there's our vampire. That cloak looks unwieldy. Wieldy. Wieldy? Can't speak today. It's a thick cloak. It's heavy. How do you run around with that on your back? I think it must weigh like 60 pounds. Like, you'd be faster without that, right? For sure. Okay. It's cool. This is the mini I was actually looking forward to seeing in here. The Minotaur. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Tail looks a little penisy, but you know, I haven't seen miniature tails. Maybe that's what they look like. Yeah, I like him. I like him. We got our neon green. We got our loot player. I think we have the, you should see the strings on the loot. Little etchings on it. Nice. And oops, what do we have here? Oh, I think it's like that jerk, the guy I don't like. Uh, I'm making a lot of judgment calls. I've never met these people. They might be just fine. He might be a fine sorcerer. I just gotta call him as I see him. Oh, there's our uh, our hero. His uh, shield looks a lot more real than it does in the photo. Because the photo looks like a magical light shield. Mind you, I'm assuming it's hard to model light. So just putting a shield with the sun on it. I guess is a fair enough trade-off. Ooh. Got away. Oh, it was the scary dude. No face. Tall sword. I'm gonna tilt him so you get a better look at him. Um, let's flip over to the side of the box. Let's 
do this in order. The blue one. Oh. It's my girl, sorceress. Her details are a little soft. Yeah, she was in the, uh, she was cooking a little too long. She have heels? Because I remember she had heels when she was choking out. She does. It's hard to see, but you can see she had little heels there. When she was choking out Johnny, choking out Johnny Depp. She had a little, a little something there. Birthmarks that come off? Nope, that's in there. Yep, she got her heels. Doesn't seem very practical, but I like it. I like it. Most fantasy costumes are impractical. It's just about looking cool. Which one is she? Oh, that's the uh, the Asian girl. She had the red dress. I thought she'd make a cute couple with that other guy. Which I'm assuming he's in the last. Yep. I like his mini, actually. Kind of kind of reminds me of a character from uh, a Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from the 80s. I like the smoke and the little dragon coming out of the smoke. I'm assuming that's the deal, is that the dragon is just kind of emerging from the smoke and he's not like half a dragon that he's summoning. It's like he doesn't know the full spell. It's like I can only get the head part. I guess that's the important part. Breeds fire, eats people. Okay. Alright, that was it for the minis and cards. So now, put these in here and let's make some room. Get this lid off and take a look at some walls and doors. So over that in there. Let's look this out here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, a little furniture. Ah, I like the little lever. Lever. You know what I mean. It's creepy. It's got a little skull on it. I like that. That's cool. I want all my door handles in my house to be replaced with skull head levers. Levers. Ooh, I like the detail on those doors. Those doors look badass. Did I mention these are heavy? Not as heavy as the walls, but it's like a good quality plastic. I like the details on these little minis. On the mini doors. I'm assuming they're all the, the big ones are all the same, yeah. And then we have some small doors here. The doors look great. Looks awesome. I haven't played the game yet, but if you're gonna get it, I'd recommend getting the getting this pack. Is that it? Yeah, the pack with the doors and the walls. You know, I know I it was kind of talking shit about the the, the the bone walls, but they would have made cooler minis. If these were bone walls, I'd look so much cooler. But you know, I like them. I like them. I don't say anything bad. It's cool. I'm sure the bone walls would have been probably a nightmare to, to model in. They'd probably be all weird. They'd probably just look like blobs of plastic. Yeah, so this is a wall slightly broken. You kind of get the idea with these walls. There's only a few different shapes to them and sizes. Okay. 
these guys to match. Anything else in here? These tiny walls, well, square, square bits. And I think that might be it. Oops. You gotta get the idea. They're all walls in different sizes, and we've seen them all. Nothing else hidden in here. Okay, cool. That was it for that box. Let's go look at another one. We're back. All right, so while we have the camera up there, let's take a look at these. Now, we've already seen one of these. It came in the box, in the, the, the core box. Assuming I paid extra for these because these look like more maps. Let's see. Figure out how to open this without damaging it. All right, and there you go. Ooh, this is a spooky place. So, I like the look of the environment, although, a little criticism here, this piece here looks very 3D modeled. As in, I've seen better. Um, the holes where the lava is looks very much just like a, a hole cut out of the graphic and a it doesn't even look like a drop shadow as much as it looks like yeah, it might be could be a drop shadow looks like an inner glow but anyways like a, just a photoshop drop shadow or inner glow applied to that which eh. and the, the, the lava looks blurry and the textures on these 3D stones could be better. I just don't think the art on the board does the art in the rest of the game justice. But it is clear to see what's happening, so there's that. It looks very functional. So that's something. Hey, right, let's flip it over. Right. And here we have, okay, once again, this texture on the snow, it's got that like 3D bump map applied to it. Looks very student worky 3D project. All of it kind of does. Like, I'm not really, like the way this fire is kind of blends into the snow doesn't really, it's just like a harsh line. I'm really not too crazy with the graphics on this board or the images on this board myself. But again, looks very functional i'm just like the rest of the art and the rest of the game looks so good seems like this is more just functional like this patch here like what's going on with this patch it looks like there's it looks like it's just a patch of artwork on top of it's not even blended in you can see it looks like it, i guess that's the grid but i don't know it just looks you get this kind of like organic shape and this looks just so like a graphic on top of a graphic I don't know. I'm not feeling the art on the maps. I'm not feeling the art on the maps. But I can't deny how good the art in the rest of the game looks. Because, oh, we have two. I forgot about that. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's just from one dynamic to another. You have like something that looks really professional and nicely put together. And then you got this that looks, looks, looks kind of just rushed. Now this, very simple tile texture, is, again, this could be done quickly, but it works. I don't have any complaints about this. Very simple, it's for, you know, you customize your own levels on this. Looks great. For that. Yeah. It's when we get to things like this. The blurry lava, especially like, like this looks fairly sharp. Like the, the rest of the images. So when you see a blurry piece of artwork, it really stands out. Especially when you have like nice crisp lines. Just for a, a low res look on that, which is not eh. But in this lighting that they got here, these walls look better. Uh, they're like this, I'm pretty sure they're the same walls. Maybe they're not, but they, they look better in the way this, the color, the way the scene is lit. All right, 
So, I decided to make a couple of sides. Let's see what we did. Okay. So, I'm happy we didn't end with that because this game has got so much beautifulness to it. Speaking of which, let's take a little gander at the art book. Now, I think... You know, I was going to say, I think this is the only game that I got the art book for. But I also think I have one for Tainted Grail. Too. No, I'm a big fan of art. Um, when it comes to art books, if it's an extra add-on, I usually don't get it added on. Um, if it's part of the all-in package, then obviously I'm gonna get it because I get the all-in package. And it's not that I don't like art books, and especially for a game like this was great art. It's just I have a lot of art books and I don't have room for them already. So that's it. But let's let's take a look at some of these pages. Good start. Good start. Okay, so just I'm not gonna flip through all this. I just kind of wanna get an idea. Let's. Ooh. Well, I like it. It's got the concepts, the final work, like the character work looks great. I like all the concept images. Okay, there you go. Looks like maybe not human. Either they use human models and didn't show us the images of that, or they did actually just. Looks like these were modeled in 3D and then posed, and then painted over. That's what. That's the vibe I'm getting from that image. Might be wrong. Really nice stuff in this art book. Huh? Get little stories about like the emperor and all kinds of stuff. That's great. Like there's so much nice artwork in this. Now these miniatures here look like they might either either the 3D models um, with the, that they send to print, or they're like the res resin sculpts. They usually look sharper because. The detail on these do not look as, yeah, there's the 3D models. They don't look as, uh, they don't look that detailed in the actual mini. Beautiful, beautiful. Like her, that looks great. Her mini looks nothing like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's jump through. Okay, that is that's enough of that. Beautiful artwork. Smell, I can smell the uh, the ink on it. Very nice, very nice art book. Okay, so now we have two boxes left. We've got this one, and we've got that, that cube over there. Let's see the cube for last. Let's get a big dragon in it. Oh, look at that. Okay, the Imperial Imperial box, Kickstarter exclusive. Let's see what our exclusives are, because I honestly don't know. Come on. Say it every episode. I gotta sharpen that knife. Can't get my fingers under here. Little pudgy fingers. Kid. It's a light box. There's probably not a whole lot in there. It's okay. It's okay, because first of all, again, credit where credit's due. That art, that art piece is amazing. All right, let's get inside. Now this box, the lid's gonna be a little trickier because the box is so light. So we're gonna have to do this a little differently. Is this dear friend We've got a letter we'd like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for believing in our dream oh that's nice it's it's a letter for us uh kickstarter backers okay this th did i mention this game looks like so much fun cannot wait to play this oh there's a lot of repeated minis in here so it'll be a quick box to get through 
Oh, he looks cool. That's a cool looking monk. So we got more character cards, more character tokens. These guys don't sit in their little mold holders very well. There you go. I got it all upside down. So was I upside down? Yep. Some of these guys were flipped right over. We got more, more cards. And oh, these guys look cool. I want to get a close look at those guys. Let's see what else we have in here. All right, nothing in the bottom. Nothing in the bottom. You got me. It was a deep one. It was a deep one. They could have very easily been stuck at the bottom. I'm getting caught. There you go. Get a little baggy. Don't know what that's for. All right, I guess. I guess we just. Close look at some of these minis. Oh, I like her. Her very powerful stance. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I'm looking at minis. I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. I'm jumping the gun. Right up with the cards. I got too excited. I know you guys want to see the minis. We can just fast forward. For those of you who want to see the cards, here we go. Let's start with the this side. Okay, we've got a little uh, a reference card. We got her. Hold on. I said that other girl looked. The girl with the snake looked nothing like the photo. I'm wondering if there's another miniature in here that looks more like that photo. Maybe. Oh yeah, I like him. Faceless Emperor. Oh, he's a badass. Oh, yeah, look at him. Tell me there's not a bunch of pretty people in this fantasy world. That guy is jacked. Okay. It's a little bunch of ability cards for them. Too bad for this guy, you know, in a world full of pretty people, he's, he's the faceless... What is he? The Faceless Emperor. Okay. And this guy fell out. Tiger. I don't know. So that's the reference card. Or is that the Tiger card? Tiger reference card? And then here's our tokens. And now let's take a look at our character cards. And then the last of the minis. Well, and then the, the big dragon mini. It's gonna be cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Faceless Emperor. Now let me turn this camera just a little more. There you go. I was having trouble getting the entire card on there. Love that artwork. Okay. Let's skip to the end. We got another healer. And there's her artwork. Very nice. I guess you've seen all I'm showing you the artwork twice, but I just like looking at it. Oh, his sword I didn't even realize his sword was lightning. It's badass. I guess can you call that any time? You know, I guess you don't need to see the Sheath for that? You don't need to sheath it? Is that, is that how you talk, sword? Does there have to be a lightning storm out there? Can you bring that out anytime? Can you bring that out in the shower? You wouldn't want to, but... Oh, cool, he's got the tiger in the back. He looks cool. Alright. That's it for the character cards. Now the minis. Okay, let's start with this guy. Now, there's a few copies of all these. Oh, his guts are showing. It's like a zombie thing. There's three of those, four of those at least. And we got this yellow guy. 
It was really hard to see this lighting. I can try to fix it in post. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Oh, is it the Emperor? Is it the Faceless Emperor? Can you cast magic? I don't know, but this guy looks cool. Oh yeah, we've seen her. But let's take a proper look at her now that uh, we've seen the character cards. She's got a lot of hair. And heels. Gotta admire these girls like a fighting heels. I couldn't do it. Oh, love them. Love it. These guys are awesome. Skeleton Warriors for the win. Something about Skeleton Warriors. They always have so much character. A few of those guys. And this looks like the guy from Thor. I forgot what his name was. You know, the rock guy from Thor Ragnarok. He had a big fist. Alright, and then what else we got in here? Uh, let's see. A lot of repeats. Oh, this guy's new. It's the monk. Oh, I like that pose. Too bad he's yellow, but I like the pose. Just doing some cool monk kicky thing. Or punchy thing. He's actually stood very well considering it's all, all that weight is on that one leg. What else we got here? Okay, we have just a few more that are actually different. Or unique. You know, I think this box has the nicer minis. Look at the details on these guys. Look at the arms, he's ripped. Right. Oh, there's like four of that guy. Oh, this guy looks cool, what is this? Oh, that's the, what are they called? The dragon avatar or whatever he was? He's like a angel, dragon, demon thing. Half human ish angel, half dra dragon. He looks good. I like him. Alright, and oops, here goes in Joy Zeal. There you go. And then we got, ooh, I don't have a lot of these. Check it out. It is like a tiger. I don't have a lot of animal miniatures. A badass tiger, but you those are like, it's like a flame tail. Even if it's not, I'm just gonna say it is. And last of the little minis is this little dwarven guy. Yeah. I like him, looks tough. He's like, you don't mess around with this guy. He has a big, big ass hammer. The detail on his face is good. He's got actually one of the better details in any of these minis. You know, the details on the minis in this box seem better. Okay. Uh, make sure that is all of them. Yep. That is all. Everything else is a repeat. So you've seen everything. Except for this guy. He's big. Oh yeah. And he's got a dress made of skulls. And he's standing in a pool of skulls. So I'm assuming that pool would be blood. If you'd paint this, that'd be blood. He looks cool. Oh, I like him. It's a great looking mini. Those wings look like they'd make great Great shelter from a storm. Oh, that's the guy with the big crazy hammer and the 
the crazy horns. Does he have the humans in his shoulders? Shoulder pads? Yeah, he does. They're hard to make out because the detail's a little blurry. I think those are rib cages. Yeah, and those little heads. Right in there, little skulls. Skull in there, too. Yeah. So he's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's got people. He decorates his uh, armor with entire skeletons. That's when you know he means business. Alright, I'm like. When your armor is made entirely of skeletons and skulls, do you make that yourself? Is that like a, a personal project? Seems personal. Like, do you, you don't get other people to do that, do you? Maybe. Maybe like the family of the people you're wearing? It's just cruel. Okay, let's put those away. And, uh, yeah, I'll just leave that like that. Any other cards? I no, I think. Okay. Now, let's go open up the big dragon. <clears throat> okay, the piece, the resistance, the big ass dragon, or also known as the elder dragon. Okay, ready? Let's, let's crack this puppy open. Turn this around. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. This one's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh. Some assembly required. Oh, this guy's not going back in the box. I think he's gonna decorate my house. <laughs> he's fighting me. some more cards we got some elder dragon instructiones it's working on my Italian Darn me. okay um, and yeah cool he'd be a cool co-op mission to kill that thing when we get up close and this guy too but this guy we're definitely gonna have to look at far away first and then get close because he's so big Definitely the highlight of this whole thing. If you're getting the Kickstarter, if, if this is actually going back to Kickstarter, if I'm not just lying to you, but if it is, eh, get this thing. Does it play well? I don't know. Does it matter how well, cool it is? Maybe it matters to some of you. But clearly I have a problem. That's backwards. How's this? But no, it's, it's not backwards. It looks, that's right, right? Right? just looks backwards. No, he goes in there. He must go in there. Because the way these things line up. Oh, there you go. No. It does. It's got to go in there. Because the other one went in too, too, too well for, for this not to be the right way. Okay, let's... Oh. Yeah, because that's a thin little slit. Yeah, this definitely goes here. This, de this one is definitely correct. That goes there. This... It can only go one way, this way. It can't possibly go any other way. So, let us force it in. 
pretty solid, so I'm sure I'm not going to break them. Hmm. You gotta admit, this is a little tough to get them in there. It's hard to get an angle. His wing is in the way. Oh, that's sad. I can't get him all the way in. I wonder why. I wonder, wonder why. So if I do this in first, these just, the cracks don't seem to line up. And I'm not sure why. I must be doing something wrong. Well, you know what? I'll figure it out, but that's uh, the fact that I can't just pop it in easy is a little disappointing. I'm sure when I get it in, it will never come out, but the fact that it has a big gap is just frustrating. Like, everything tells me that this is the way this goes, so this is definitely right. I just can't push it in. I'm gonna try to wedge it like I need like a shoe whoa <laughs> a shoehorn to like get that in there. Oh. I've I know, I've screwed around with that enough. Let us it's an interesting thing his wings are doing, right? Because they're all like this one's usually they're all like flapped or but this guy's got like one this way, one that way. That's why I thought it was like flipped around but it doesn't work the other way this one clear definitely goes here and this is the back of his arm actually they both look like the back of his arm but it wouldn't make sense any other way so yeah i guess that's it and it, does, it just doesn't fit everything seems to looks like it lines up but anyways he still looks really cool i'm sure i can fix that wing situation nice Look at that beast. He's heavy and he looks he looks badass except for that. Maybe if uh, somebody who uh, worked on this or, or this can uh, tell me how to fix the wing situation. And just hopefully the answer doesn't come back. You're just a moron push it in. I'm pretty sure I did it. I, I can't, yeah. There's got to be a defect with mine. Anyways, let's uh, let's get a closer look. Now, here's the thing. Because this guy's so big, and I do want to get close, this thing's probably going to be in my face, this camera here. But you're not here to see me. You're here to see the big dragons. So let's take... Jeez, I can't get closer. He's just so massively awesome. So I'll try my best to do justice to this guy. Let's see if we can get close to see some detail. Now let's just admire how awesome this guy looks. He's huge and he's heavy and his mouth, his face, those details look amazing. I, I really like the face on this guy. He's all bumpy. Let's get him a texture. See, here's what I was talking about. That crack there, nice and tight. That wing, not so much. It just wouldn't go in. Like that definitely goes there. This one, problem is, let me show you. See, this goes in there, but that, this piece does not seem to want to line up in there, into that little hole. So when I do this, it doesn't want to, they don't both don't want to go in, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah. Anyways, we've been through this before. Leave it as is, I'll see what I can do to fix it later or improve the situation. But let's look, just look at the detail on these wings and this back. Really nice, really nice piece. Let's check out these things, but I don't have to bring this thing down again. All right, let's get this party started. Usually I'd show you the this guy at the end, but I just got, I just got too excited. Look how cool he is. Just to give you a sense of scale, I do have a large head. So imagine large head and uh, dragon. 
Check out the art. I love that artwork. That's a great, that's a great piece. Got some uh, Hydra abilities. Oh, there he is. The big baddie himself. It's Elder Dragon. Big ass demon. Kind of scares me more than the dragon. And our Diablo Angel. Which I'm guessing if he's in this box, he's probably not a good angel. Maybe he is. Well, he's Ar the Archangel. Archangel? 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 Okay. Some tokens. And. Remember when I told you that we turn off the furnace to record? Well, my fingers are freezing. Whew. Okay. So let's get a good sound. Okay, there's those cards. We've seen the artwork before. And that. And then we are done. That is all of it. That is all of Arena the Contest. And it looks like a lot of fun. It does. It really looks like a lot of fun. Can't wait to play. There's other things. Admittedly, there's other things ahead of this. Not because I'd rather play them more. It's just this year in 2020, I've, I've got a, a list. It's, it's a little flexible, but I've got a list of games I've got to play from top to bottom. And being that I just found this game in a brown box recently, it was a big brown box, mind you, um, it's, it's lower on the list, but I, I am excited to play. But who knows? Lists are meant to be changed. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. See you next week. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.